Hello, this is Barbara Nicolato with another installment of Talk Crafty to Me, Things We Can Do with Mica Powder. In part two, I'm going to show you how to use mica powder with bonding powder. And I hope these short little video tutorials will encourage you to try some of these techniques. After realizing the stamp and bond powder I used in this video is discontinued, I've listed a substitute below. Wow bonding powder. The way you use bonding powder starts out the same way you'd use embossing powder. Prepare the surface with the anti-static tool. Stamp your image in Versamark watermark ink. and cover it with bonding powder instead of embossing powder. Then use your heat tool to melt it. Unlike embossing powder, bonding powder melts quickly and turns into a clear, sticky medium. And now you can take advantage of its sticky properties to affix the mica powder to it. I love using this Nouveau Surface Sweeper brush. Um, it's great for taking off micas, glitter, uh, pencil particles, eraser. Anytime we're using your fingers or hand to wipe will actually smudge your creation. This is where this brush comes in. The last step in using the bonding powder is when you have your product affixed to it, you need to heat set it one more time and that'll make it permanent. The last thing I do is I take a piece of Swiffer cloth that I use for cleaners at home. I cut it in small pieces and then I just go over the top of it to get some of the mica off places where it really shouldn't be. My next step was to experiment a little at home. So I took the star cluster stamp and this time I used the WOW bonding powder. Heated it in the same way. And then instead of using the Sweet Poppy Mica, I used some Pearl X, which is also a mica, and I heat set it again. I wasn't as happy with the finished result, so with a brush and a little more Pearl X, I went over the stars and this gave me the result that I wanted. I heat set it at the end, wiped it off with the Swiffer, and voila! Here I experimented with some Venetian red mica powder and crystalline satin glitter together. It held up beautifully. Well, I hope this video clip has given you a little more confidence in using mica powders. And I hope you'll stay tuned for more on things we can do with mica powder. Please visit us at DelBellowsDesigns.com. And if you haven't already done so, join our Facebook groups. Thank you so much for visiting. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.